Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. How can this be that is pronounced a blessing on dying, on the dead? You know the answer, don't you? That brings us to our third heading, and that is the condition that is placed on this. And that is, blessed are the dead who what? They die in the Lord. Yeah, that's the only way. The only people it's true for is those who are in the Lord. There's two categories of humanity, I tell you. I say only two. I mean, you can you can take all the different races, and it boils down to two. You can take all you can take the sexes. Forget it. It boils down to two categories of humanity. You can take all the occupations, and uh, I look around, look, you know, all the variety we've got here, and yet it still boils down to two categories of humanity. You go up on campus, you can tell them two kinds of men, two kinds of women, two only two kinds of humanity: those who are in the Lord and those who are not; those who are in union with Christ and those who are not. You know, the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches a conversion experience. You know, where you come into union with Christ, where you're welded to Christ, where you're grafted in to Christ, where you're where you're married to Christ. You didn't used to be, but now you are. God's invaded your life. God's invaded your heart, and now you are in union with Him. And uh, masses of humanity, they're without Christ, they're without God, they're without the promises. They're outside. They're on the outside. And uh, and uh, they're dying not in the Lord. They're dying how? They're dying in their sins, right? Jesus said three times in John chapter 8, verse 24, 20, 20, 21 through 24, if you die in your sins, you cannot go where I'm going. And that's heaven, right? He's going back to the Father. He said it over and over. If you die in your sins, you can't go where I go. You know how it is to be shut out of some event. You mean you travel a long ways. You've got money in your pocket. You're willing to pay for it. You expended for it. You traveled for it. You sacrificed for it. And you're going to tell me I can't get in that door? You're going to tell me you're not going to let me in? And you talk and you reason and you plead and you beg. And no, you can't get in here. That's the rules. And so there they are. They've come all their lifetime. They've journeyed along. And yet, they've, uh, they've fiddled around with sin. They, they're still in their sins. And uh, they, they uh, die in their sins. I've heard of people dying in a house. They've died in a car. They've died in a train wreck. They've died in sickness. They've died in a manure pit. Terrible and way to end your life. None of us is bad. None of it compares. None of it matters when it comes to dying in your sins. You do not want to die in your sins. You want to make sure that you're in Christ. You want to make sure that you, yeah, Jesus Christ has come to you personally and said, man, your sins are forgiven. But He's come to you personally and taken up residence and made your heart His home. You want to come to the end that way in union with Him. Otherwise, there is no blessing. There is no beatitude. There is no blessed to be pronounced on you, but a woe on top of woe. And for those who die in union with, union with Christ, it's immortality. I think I'm going to... I told the boys last night when they got it built, I think I'm going to take another little shingle and have somebody do some wood burning. <laughs> <laughs> and carve off that casket. Oh, death, where is your sting? <laughs> Grave, where is your victory? Yes, blessed are those who die in the Lord. It's shouting ground. It's victory. It's joy unspeakable. The redeemed of the Lord will come to singing in the Zion. Right, Paul, everlasting joy will be upon your head. 